There you go. Well, now the, the way I've operated it is this. I uh, um, let us suppose that I'm rolling something about this size. Well, I guess this is simpler. Now the work would uh, uh, work would lie along here, and uh, I'd clamp it to this, and uh, the. Uh, Hmm. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> The principal part of the uh, machine is not here. The principal part really is the uh, welding clamp that I use. Um, and uh, so let us suppose that I've, uh, I've got a piece of work which uh, maybe uh, uh, three eighths by two inch strap mm -hmm. extending off in this way. Then I would clamp the end of it. Well, that's why this is cut here. In other words, I'd have to, have to start here, and the uh, the work would be stick, sticking out here, right? So now, with the welding clamp, I'd clamp the work to this, uh, you know, what do I call this, uh, to the uh, die, <laughs> the, or pattern, and uh, then this article used as a lever uh, to to, uh, well, it would hook into the welding clamp and then roll this thing. So this would gradually work its way up. The work would be curved up like that. Then I'd have to shift the whole thing back here, let us say, like that. And uh, Put another clamp here. So these would be the clamps like uh, Bessie uh, welding clamps that can slide up to the thickness that you yeah, want? Well, the, wel the, w the welding clamp that I use as a, a British manufacturer it consisted of a, an arm with a, a ratchet. Oh. Uh, so. Well, uh, it's the uh, um, what do you call a, uh, a rod, a, a plate that has notches in it? Will well, be a, a toothed rail, um, mm -hmm. but if, if it would ratchet, then um, well, the uh, I, I'm afraid the term ratchet. Uh, 
gives okay. the wrong impression. It's it's part of a ratchet in that the the claw or the uh, one of the pads that uh, forms part of the clamp has this long extension with the notches in it, and um, the other part of the clamp uh, will grip that notch. Yeah, and so it'll hold that spot, right. whereas the German welding clamp that I've been using, the Bessie, what it does is it just pinches it and holds it in place, right. where at any location they just cock it back a little bit and then it resists movement, oh, I see. whereas that one probably just uses yeah, this the... One uh, has a and then a, a C-clamp or a screw, then that would hold it in that spot, and then right. another one. So you could so adjust I, the thickness. I clamp that way, and uh, and then, uh, let's see, how is that? The uh, Okay, so the clamp is this way, and that notched piece sticks out like this. Yeah. And it... And, um, you just hold it on there to keep it from getting away from the die and then bend it around again? Right. And um, so, let's see, how, how is that clamp? All right, okay, so so this notched part of the clamp will come up this way. If I clamp it here, um, the... Uh, Okay, it's this way. Now, here we go. We've got we've got this notched part that comes out like this. Mm-hmm. And the main body of the clamp is in here. Okay, so now I can slide this over the notched part of the uh, welding clamp. Uh, maybe I maybe the welding clamp is out here. <laughs> Let me have a look. And, uh, if it is, that'll make it all very much more clear. clear.